Hey guys, Google just released a new major Google algorithm. They are saying for March, yes, this month, they're launching at it right off the bat. And we can see that we have a couple new additions to their algorithm here. They are saying that this is more complex and more of an advanced, shocking algorithm update than any of their previous updates, or at least their usual core updates. Of course, they say a lot of fluffy language here, so I'm just gonna translate this to normal SEO speak. They are essentially breaking down, penalizing parasite SEO as much as they can. They're also looking at reducing amount of expired domain spam, and they're using new systems to do it. So as you can see, they say that they're using a variety of innovative signals and approaches. Now, my interpretation on this is that they're going to be focusing more and more on user engagement signals, traffic signals, and similar types of signals, as well as EAT and all of that. This is pretty self-explanatory as this is what's been happening for a long time. It's what made TikTok, Facebook, YouTube, all of these algorithms work. So why not bring it to search? This is what we're asking. I think this is what they're saying through the lines. They may also be talking about Google SGE or implementing some AI systems. But if you're an SEO, you know that SGE is pretty bad right now and is definitely not in a state to come out in March. You can keep track of it with the Google status dashboard, but all of that is pretty sim simple. I mean, if we even look at what they're saying here, they pretty much say if you're making good content, you don't have anything to worry about. Um, what is interesting is their new spam policies. And so they directly attack three very common SEO practices really since the beginning of SEO and the internet itself. We're talking about expired domains, scaled content, and site reputation abuse. And that third one is particularly interesting because site reputation abuse is their fancy language for parasite SEO. And so if you've been following along on YouTube, you know people like Julie Goldie and other people have been pushing Parasite SEO quite aggressively, which is certainly not too much of a problem. I mean, ethically, I don't care. But what's interesting is that Google is saying that they're cracking down on a lot of that stuff. So if you don't know Parasite SEO, wait for the third point. We'll talk more in detail about this. But what is expired domain abuse? So if you're an SEO, you probably know this. It's where you take an expired domain. Domain is just a website, so google.com. And oftentimes people forget about their domains. So you might have Joe's, you know, cleaning.com and that website, you know, it was a cleaning website and then they, you know, took down the company, whatever it is. And now that website or that domain name, Joe's cooking, Joe's cleaning is available for purchase with all of that same backlink and authority and reputation that is developed over time. And so what people have done with this is that they might use an old medical site or an old .edu site, something that has unintentionally been dropped and they repurpose it to rank for SEO stuff. So the example they use is casino, but people use this all the time. I mean, this is how the concept of a private blog network or PBN has even been established for the most part. Usually people are picking up expired domains, using that existing authority to build out a PBN and rank their stuff, as well as just creating content on that page to rank better for SEO. So it's being used all the time, expired domain abuse. People are also redirecting these expired domains to transfer link juice. And guess what? It works pretty effectively right now. And so they say, at least in this report, that they are cracking down on this. Now, how they're going to do that, I don't know. It's been working since 2002, and it's a very popular technique. We'll see how they go about doing this. What are your thoughts? Will they actually be able to uh, finally crack the expired domain abuse? Probably not. But, I mean, they are clearly trying, and uh, according to them, they have new innovative signals and approaches to do this. I'm curious what your thoughts, leave a comment below. If you have any ideas or any input, I am very, very curious. The second part is super interesting. 
So it's scaled content abuse. Now, of course, they're using fluffy language, but essentially they're saying creating large amounts of content that isn't valuable for users. My intuition is that this just means AI spam. So that, you know, they say right here, they mention AI. Um, and, you know, are you changing your stance? Yes, I think they're just saying that people are generating thousands of articles with AI and they're publishing all of that to websites. And that this is spam and that they want to stop this because it's working right now pretty effectively. AI content is doing pretty good in the Google search results and they're trying to lower its effectiveness. Now they directly mention AI content and says, this is not what we're attacking. We're just attacking a large amount of content all at once that isn't very useful, mainly for SEO. And they don't care whether it's written by humans. To me, this is more or less fluff, kind of uh, just some kind of language game, really. Because, I mean, if you create thousands of articles and they're useful to users, then that's still going to be beneficial to Google search and they're going to keep it in effort. So I don't think that is going to be a problem. I think they're pretty much just saying code for uh, AI content is going to be um, reduced in its effectiveness. So clearly this is a strange way of saying it. Producing content at scale is abusive for the purpose of manipulating search rankings. To me, that just seems to not make much sense. I mean, people are going to produce content at scale to satisfy search queries. I mean, is that manipulation or not? It's SEO. So kind of a weird statement here. We'll see if Google backs it up, this, this up. I think they're just going to attack mass AI content sites. The last one is the most interesting, which is site reputation abuse. So this is all about parasite SEO. So when somebody creates a page on Reddit or LinkedIn Pulse or Outlook India, which is a popular sponsored host website, and they're trying to create on-page optimizations to rank those pages using the existing site's ranking signals. So of course, Google comes in with the fluffy language, you know, site reputation abuse, third-party pages on first-party websites. But yes, it's essentially posting on something like Reddit. So creating a subreddit, you know, posting a Reddit post on best camping gear and trying to rank that using on-page SEO tactics, backlinks, and all kinds of things, really taking advantage of the fact that Reddit is a very well-trusted website for SEO, has a ton of backlinks. It can take a lot of abuse in terms of backlink spam. And so you can send money robot kind of backlinks to it, which is a weird spam tool. And you can rank pages much easier. You can do all kinds of spammy stuff on first page sites or uh, uh, first party sites, I guess. So Reddit, LinkedIn Pulse, all these kind of stuff. Um, and there's also media outlets where you can just pay to have an article and you can have that article um, use the existing backlink authority of the website. And so the fact that this is saying essentially going against Parasite SEO is pretty wild. Tell me what you guys think. Are you guys doing Parasite SEO? Do you think this is good, bad? What do you think? Um, I know that Google makes a lot of claims, a lot of these updates and posts, but they don't always follow through. So I'm very curious whether they'll actually, um, actually change the SERPs aggressively like they seem to be saying. So um, a lot of interesting updates here mainly focus on some existing spam. We've seen this pretty much everywhere. So pretty, uh, pretty good update in terms of a lot of this sort of probably just tacking all of this mass uh, AI content on parasite sites and, and AI content websites that have really gained traction, especially on YouTube. Um, now I'm curious, you know, most SEOs are pretty creative and they'll get around this, but again, Typically, it's a good idea to rely on heavily edited human content. Uh, if anything, maybe some AI assistance, use it for research, use it for outlines and that kind of thing. But it is very good to continue using human writers with big updates like this. We don't know what can change. Of course, if you're using uh, human writers to edit 
and consolidate AI content it is still working in a great strategy. So let me know what your guys' thought about the March 2024 core update. Give me a like if you learned anything and subscribe if you want to be updated on all the newest information regarding Google search. Thank you so much. Talk soon.